Hello and welcome to Canada CPA Online Academy sharing the wisdom. So in last video, we talked a little bit about the basics of day one. So what is day one? How is it tested? And like, what is the base case and things like that. Now in today's video, we are going to dive deeper into exactly how to prepare for day one. And um, I will give you some tips that I followed to get an understanding and to prepare better for uh, day one uh, case writing. Uh, before we move ahead, please, please, please like, subscribe, share this channel. If you find it use, useful that it is helping you, please, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I will keep posting new videos every week. So um, day one, let's first discuss about what is the problem in the overall preparation. The very first and the biggest problem is that there are no practice cases that are available. What I mean is like for day two or day three, there are a lot of cases that are available from previous year that you can like read a case, solve a case, check answers and things like that. But for day one, the very nature of day one is as such that you have a base case of 50 pages that is in capstone one. From that, there is a version one, version two, which is the case that would be tested. So to get a whole uh, practice as such, it is not possible to practice day one from your previous year's um, uh, exams. Like if you have ample time, sure, it is possible, but in, in real life scenario, with the limited study hours, with our jobs and uh, everything, it's not possible to have that much time to practice day one from previous year. So what you are left with is the two uh, practice versions that you get in Capstone 2. So first version goes away just, just in trying to figure out what is required. In second version, you get a little bit feel of what is day one. And then when you feel that, okay, I'm ready now, I want to practice one more scenario and it is not available. Okay, so that is the first problem that there are no practice cases that are available for day one. So by the time you enter Castor 2 and you're solving and getting it marked from the markers, be ready with your approach so that you can use it wisely. The, the versions that are available are not... Uh, wasted in just trying to figure out how to write day one. So by the time you start your capstone to be ready with your approach for day one. So um, that is first thing. Second thing, uh, CPA will give you some measurement metrics as such for day one, but it is more on a uh, more holistic approach that you can't have specific C's and specific if you get this much, then you clear day one. It's not like that. It's, it's more of a holistic approach that uh, do you get it what they're trying to say or that company is trying to do or not. So it is more holistic based approach. So it is difficult to anticipate what they're trying to judge. Sec the last thing is the time management. Uh, the technical part is not worrisome uh, in day one because the, the only technical that you will need in day one would be the capital budgeting, like NPV, IRR, uh, all those type of capital budgeting, calculations, and decision-making tools. But the major hurdle, at least I felt, was time management. You have four hours to read the case, to evaluate pros, cons, quantitative, qualitative analysis on four strategic options, one or two operational options, think about the link to the previous case, think about the overall integration, do the situational analysis and the final conclusion. It's not enough, it's not enough. You are going to run out of time. So you need to plan how to utilize those four hours effectively, how to quickly cover and like move on to the next point. So these, all these problems make uh, preparation for day one more difficult as compared to I'm saying day two and day three where you have like specific cases, specific marking guides where you can use them and uh, prepare um, your, or you can improve your approach as such, but day one, it is a problem. Now, how to tackle that problem? So the very first thing, how to study for day one, prepare, a one pager, like I said, one pager would end up being three, four pages actually. 
but the capstone one's case is 50 pages case you can't remember everything so make a smaller um what you can say abridged version of that of that case make some notes and uh cover in that what what you are going to need need repeatedly from that case so you will need what is the company's vision mission values key success factors it would include uh the swot analysis as well like what are the some specific strain, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities for that specific company, for that specific case. Then the key stakeholders. So who are the owners? Who are the board of directors? Is there a personality uh, that they are, uh, or a, a role that they are playing? Or uh, suppose one board member is looking after everything. One is silent. One is uh, stronger in marketing side. One is, so capture that. Because uh, in some options or in, in some points, you have to consider that, okay, this partner is uh, busy in finance or, or uh, sorry, expert in finance and he's not able to give, maybe he's busy, that's why he's not able to give his opinion or uh, he's not able to uh, give that much time in the business. So it, it is an impact in the business. There could be some links like that. Um, try to capture the other parties that are involved in the case, like in strategic options, like you are buying this uh, new business, that business, new business owner is this, this, this. Because um, in, in the day one version, sometimes they don't give you the full names, okay? They would say uh, that John, have, uh, like John has done this and, and you will start wondering who is John like? So that person that the full name and things like that, all the detail, would be in the capstone one stage stage so you you need to remember all the parties all the names how insignificant they might sound in the day one like in the capstone one case but they may play a bigger role in your uh, day one version or something like that so pay attention to all these smaller points and have a synopsis in your mind in your uh, in a small format of the basic capstone one case now, um, uh, after the parties and everything, also have a, a high level synopsis of the strategic issue. What do I mean by that is, so, okay, so option one, they want to purchase this division and the value of that project is suppose 20 million they want to invest. This much is the payback period and uh, whatever the, the key, key conditions of that. And then also note down if there are some special terms and conditions. So uh, there was one specific uh, uh, option I remember. There was a hotel franchisee or a buyout sometime, that type of option, where there was a restriction in that strategic option that if they invest in that option, then they cannot operate that the company, like the distributor, they cannot operate in the 100 kilometer radius. Now, this is in your capstone one case. On day one, there is another option that is in the similar area where the con is that, okay, but if, if we go with this option, there is a restriction that there is a 100 kilometer radius. So we cannot operate, invest in this hotel, rather we can move. So that link you have to consider, or sometimes there is uh, a loan um, taken for something um, some project and it, there is a repayment uh, that would come in 2025 and your case uh, sits in 2025 for the day one there is a redemption of shares there is a some some conditions or some deals that are very specific to that strategic issue which might have a linkage to your future case like the, the day one case that you will be getting so try to cover as much so in your head, your day one, uh, the capstone one case should be very clear. So make a smaller abridged version of your capstone one case. That is point number one. Next, uh, I discussed uh, the day one answer format uh, in detail in the last video. So please check out that. But the basic answer format is, first you write the situational analysis. Second, you write the strategic and operational issues of each issue you will give the pro and con uh, that would be your qualitative analysis and uh, you will have a quantitative analysis the calculation of payback period npv or uh, whatever they have given so it would be a, a quantitative calculation and integrate that into your final conclusion and integrate that with your overall goals and situational analysis 
So that's how you go with your individual strategic options, operational issues. And then you summarize at the end, what is your final conclusion in the order of priority? So that is the overall day one answer format. Now, uh, we discussed this in, also in the last video, but we'll just quickly uh, capture it. Again, what you need to know for day one, it is a strategic focus, bird's eye view. That means you have to give, think it from the perspective of a CEO uh, level that whether as a CEO, what would you think if you want to invest uh, in, in an opportunity, in an option? Uh, what would you think? So it is a high level analysis, not very specifics about how to treat this in uh, financial reporting aspect or what will be the tax implications and so on. It is more from the uh, uh, budgeting, vision mission and long-term goals perspective. Whether, whether I see myself uh, five years down the line investing in this opportunity and whether it aligns with my objectives or not. It is more, more on a high level basis. So analytical skills will be tested, your finance concepts will be tested and the correlation of all the, all the things that you write in your situational analysis. Now, again, just to recap, what do you write in your situ situational analysis is what has changed from your capstone one case. So has the vision changed? Has the mission changed? Has the values changed? Key success factors, what are the new strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for the business? Are they same? Has something changed, improved? Um, then a quick review of ratios and trends under the financial analysis and the new goals. Like, are they going for IPO? Is there a certain ROI target? Is there a dividend that needs to be uh, paid? What is the cash position? Like, what are the loan restrictions, debt equity ratio, and things like that. And then some specific KPIs that are related to that specific case industry, like for hotel industry, the ADR, average daily rate, and the occupancy rate was, was a big thing. And uh, it has to be considered a factored in into all the options. So something specific to your case. So that is what is required in your answer. And then uh, as we discussed, for the strategic and operational issues, you need to follow the format, qualitative analysis, pros and cons, quantitative analysis, and then the conclusion. Now, here they're testing your integration. Again, what is an integration? That one specific option, if this is a pro, why this is a pro, and how it benefits to achieve your goal or target or um, something from the value or key success factor or something from your SWOT. So everything links back to your situational analysis. So try to have that linkage, at least I would say two to three points in every, um, every strategic option. So pros, cons, quantitative analysis, and the final conclusion for all the issues. So that's, that's how it is structured. Now, um, even if I tell you repeatedly how to do this, uh, Sometimes it is very difficult to grasp what I'm saying or what everyone is saying, like even CPA uh, will, uh, will have some videos and uh, lectures on how to approach day one, what should be your strategy and things like. But uh, personally, when I was studying, I was listening to all this talk from everyone, but I was just not getting it. Like, what is situational analysis? What are they saying by integration? How does it work? So what I did uh, is, is this simple exercise that I would suggest you to do. It, it helped me to clarify um, what is required and how I should go about it. I did this um, at a later stage in Capstone 2. So that was a mistake. So that's what I'm saying that do it right now so that by, by the time you enter your Capstone 2, you will be ready with your approach and the expectations and uh, what is expected you will know in advance. So visit CPA Canada website. Then I will put a link in the description below. You can search the previous Capstone 1 case. Now, um, I, I've given an example of Marmani case. It was uh, tested in September 2019 and September 2020. So it, it won't be tested anymore. There will be uh, one more new case and distinct hotel would be still be there for May 2021. Now, uh, read that original Capstone 1 case. Don't 
don't overthink don't try to solve it just read the whole case of the 50 pages original marmani case okay then there is a sample report or the sample answer given by cpa for that case read that sample report then uh, read the version one now version one is the actual uh, day one actual exam case that would be uh, that people have written in september 2019 so read that question like that case it would be 20 25 pages case so read that case read the answer as well from the cp board report for that case that will give you a clear idea of the the linkage and the thoughts and what i'm saying when i'm saying situation situational analysis when i'm saying strategic options when i'm saying pros cons integration final conclusion the weightings of and it will give you a a, a whole um view of what is required okay now um there would be version 2 if if you have time or if you if you are willing i would suggest read version 2 like try to solve version 2 of that case just don't don't uh, waste too much time in that but just quickly read the case and try to solve what you will write in pro what you will write in cons how would you integrate how would you do the qualitative analysis how would you do quantitative analysis what are the are you able to and then read the answer and compare where you able to spot all the strategic options pros cons where you able to find all the links that are going back uh, all the integration links that are going back to capstone one or to the situation analysis for that and this will give you a in-depth idea of what is expected so that when you are ready for actually writing your uh, day one um, practice case in capstone 2 you will have a have a good idea of um, of of what is expected and how to how to um, how to proceed now uh, there is one more thing that if you are following the route like you are going from capstone 1 capstone 2 then you have you, you will you would have solved the case uh, already with your group and made the presentation so you're well familiar with the case but if you are following the mou route and you you have not given capstone one you are exempted and directly giving capstone two then i would suggest like start reading the case and solve it as if you, you were giving the capstone ones try to solve the strategic options try to uh, try to write the pros cons try to identify so try to put it in your own presentation uh, type of document that as if you're writing capstone one what would you have done with this case this helps to uh, give clarity of that that particular capstone one case and it helps to link you in the in the future um, day one uh, scenarios so um that is that is my approach and uh, hope hope uh, you will find uh, find it useful and uh, please share like subscribe to the video to the channel and uh, all the best for your preparation if you have specific questions please leave them in the comments below and i will try to answer them thank you so much